Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Siren Tarot and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at what are men's secret thoughts of you. So please be aware that this is a general reading, only take what resonates, leave the rest. We have three piles to choose from. So for pile number one we have Honey Calcite with the Six of Wands. For pile number two we have Black Tourmaline with the Three of Swords. And for pile number three, we have Fire Agate with the Queen of Wands. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile, pick whichever one you are most drawn to. So once you're done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below and then I'll see you at your reading. Hi there my pal number ones, if you chose this honey calcite crystal and the six of wands from the muse tarot then this is your reading. We're going to be taking a look at what are men's secret thoughts of you. So please be aware that this is a general reading, only take what resonates, lead the rest. If you happen to find yourself enjoying the reading, then please consider hitting the subscribe button. Also, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find my email address in the description box below. So let's get started by shuffling your tarot cards. After that, we'll take a look at two sets of oracle cards I have for you. Okay, so spirit guides of pile number one, spirit guides of pile number one. What are men's secret thoughts of pile number one? So we have the hanged muse. We have the seven of cups in the reverse. We have the high priestess reversed. We have the Empress reversed. And I feel one more card, the Muse of Inspiration. So we do have the Seven of Swords at the back of the deck. Okay, so the first funny thing I want to mention is the fact that right as I was about to tell you what I see here in your cards, I got a phone call for a package I just received. So there is this feeling of men, you know, wanting to buy you things, wanting to spoil you with their money, take you out on dates. There is something about, you know, like wanting to buy you gifts. Uh, so I pick up for this pile. You might have a lot of men trying to spoil you with their money. And those are their secret thoughts. You might also have been single for a very long time with the hanged muse or waiting for the right one to come along in the right moment at the right time. Maybe a lot of you in this pile believe in finding your true love or just at least finding the person that is right for you. So I'm hearing the word picky but I don't mean that in a bad way. So there is something about you having a lot of options when it comes to men. Like, I do feel like you do get men that do desire you secretly and want you, but even not just secretly, but like go up to you and tell you that they want you. But I do feel like for you, You've had a lot of bad options come your way where you don't want to just settle for anybody just because they like you or desire you. So that is what I feel from your energy in terms of men's secret thoughts of you that, you know, you're picky with your options, you're picky with who you choose. You first want to get to know a person really well before you just accept an offer that comes your way. Sorry, I was interrupted by a phone call there, but I take that as a specific um, thing for your reading since I was already interrupted twice during your reading. I kind of feel like men see you as somebody that's very busy, like very busy all the time. Maybe you are focusing a lot on your work and career, and maybe that has been the reason why a lot of you have been single in this pile because... I also feel you going on a self-love journey, realizing your worth when it comes to dating and love. So I see men thinking of you as a type of person. They secretly think that you are a boss babe, that you have 
you know, like leadership energy, CEO energy. You give off the vibe of somebody that's going to be very successful in this lifetime, very independent woman in this pile. And if you're a man watching, then you're also an independent man that they can see, you know, you're very busy all the time. They can see you have goals for yourself. You have this ambitious energy. And that's what they secretly think of you, where they like that about you. They respect that about you. But what I will say for your pile is I'm feeling different types of men's energy come through. So some of them will be insecure. And I feel like you know this already. Some men will be insecure and kind of like get a little bit jealous of you because they see you as maybe a little bit more successful than them in your career. Or even if you're not more successful than them, they can just get the sense of insecurity because there is something about it sort of like, what's the word? Intimidating them. Okay, um, maybe making them feel emasculated is the word I'm hearing, but not all men are like that. You do also have some men that secretly feel like you know, you two together would be a power couple. You could success, you could be successful together, motivate each other, you know, reach your biggest dreams together. So I do see some men respecting you for that and like really looking up to you and admiring you for your ambitious nature secretly. Men secretly think that you have a whole lot of options that you have so many people wanting to date you, but you get to pick and choose who you want to be around you because I see an energy of you learning discernment, you learning your worth and no longer just accepting the bare minimum I hear or just settling for anybody because they want to be with you, like I said before. So you have learned to trust your intuition more when it comes to people and options coming your way. Along with the insecurities I mentioned, sometimes you may have insecure men around you where they do get a little bit insecure when you are showing so much of this internal power, but also because you're very beautiful. The Empress is a card of beauty because it is linked to Venusian energy, and Venus is the planet of love and beauty and romance. So a lot of men see you as beautiful, but some of them get insecure because of that, because they think that you have so many men wanting to date you, where sometimes they won't even come to you and say that they like you, but you'll sense it, but you'll kind of doubt it, where you'll be like, hmm, am I just thinking this person likes me, but they don't really like me? Oftentimes your intuition is correct with the high priestess, but you may doubt it. So some men don't even tell you they like you because... They feel insecure and they feel like there are so many other men that probably want you or there's no way that you're so beautiful but still single that you must be taken. Um, so I do see that energy and I see, I see some men secretly feeling like if they were to date you, it would trigger insecurities in those insecure men, not every man, but insecure men, where let's say they date you and you walk out in public and there are other men staring at you. They would just, it, it would just bring out triggers for them. So that's something I see for you. It's very important to not date an insecure man because oftentimes you'll find that they'll try to bring you down or humble you because of their own feelings or sometimes you'll notice they'll become a little bit possessive. Not all insecure men are like that, but some of them are. Um, so that's something I want to warn you about because I feel like with this pile, you are so beautiful that you attract many different types of men. You'll attract good men your way. You'll attract ambitious men your way. You'll attract men that are players. You'll attract insecure men. You'll attract every type of man. So for you, I think discernment is key to not just pick the wrong man for yourself. You know what I mean? Um, going back to that player energy I mentioned, I do see that too. So you could have some men that have been in your life before that have been players uh, where they kind of see you as 
Okay, so what Spirit is showing me is a vision. They are showing me Charlie from Two and a Half Men. And if you've ever watched that show, you'll know that Charlie is like the biggest player ever. But he falls in love with one woman specifically. And I can't remember her exact name in the series or the show. But he falls in love with her where he even doesn't find like the same satisfaction in chasing other women anymore and I think he almost gets married to her in the show and after that he just isn't really okay emotionally. So when you attract certain players your way you'll find that sometimes they are not ready to settle down so then they'll kind of like leave you behind or ghost you or just slowly distance themselves but then I see them secretly thinking I will come back when I'm ready. <laughs> That's what I see with the Hang Muse and the Seven of Swords at the back of the deck because it's like they know internally, secretly, that they're not ready to settle down, but they see you as a type of person that they would want to settle down with in the future where they kind of secretly think in their mind, I'll come back when I'm ready. <laughs> but I don't think you would take them back um later on because I'm hearing the word too late like it's too late and for you I don't feel like you want a man like that because like I said you have grown in your self-love journey and knowing your work your worth um so there is something about that coming through okay so now we're using the Britney Spears oracle I'm gonna get three cards and then after that, we'll get another oracle deck for you. So what are men's secret thoughts of pile number one, please? So we have the goddess, but I think my deck is upside down, so it's upright. What are men's secret thoughts of pile number one? Then we have the trailblazer in the reverse, which is so interesting because I felt this energy. I was about to say something, so confirmation. And we have the masterpiece in the reverse. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is men often secretly think of you as very divine with the goddess here. It's almost like they get very, very obsessed with you to the point where they almost like want to worship you. And as I say worship you, I am clairvoyantly seeing Morticia and Gomez from the Adams family and how he always like kisses up her arms and he always treats her with so much romance. So you bring out a romantic side in a lot of men and they want to show that to you but then some men kind of see you as like they secretly see you as wifey material or marriage material and they see you as the person they would choose to have kids with potentially since we see Brittany being pregnant here um, or they just see you as a person that would be a good mother or father so there is something about that here but there is also this energy of some men realizing your divinity too late because at the back of the deck we have dump him with the graphic t so this is making me feel of like you being the one that got away to some men that you've dumped because maybe you saw that you were worth more. So there is also this feeling here of spirit taking me back to that thing I said of like some men maybe not being ready, realizing too late, and then you've already dumped them, you've already moved on from them, but they're kind of thinking in their mind, I will come back to you when I'm ready. <laughs> So that's a pretty weird, but I'm seeing that. There's something about men secretly thinking they respect you in a way where if they do anything wrong, you're going to dump him. <laughs> you're not going to take any BS. So you have the soft, sweet, gentle, romantic side to you, but you also have this powerful kind of femme fatale energy. 
you also have this powerful energy of knowing your worth, which makes men secretly feel like they want to respect you because they know that there are going to be consequences to their actions. The thing is, sometimes I've seen this myself, when we don't give men consequences and just people in general, when we don't give them consequences to their actions or call them out on things, they will continue to do the same thing over and over again because they're getting away with it. And it's just human nature. So when you are holding people accountable, it's like they respect you more and also with men. So they secretly think that. I also see men secretly thinking thoughts that are a little bit more sexual in nature towards you, kind of like fantasizing about you. A lot of men as well, even if they don't see you in a romantic light, they feel inspired by you since you chose a Muse tarot deck and there is a Muse card here. There is also a feeling of men secretly thinking that you're somebody that kind of like, along with the the insecurities you bring out in people, they think that you're so beautiful that you may also attract certain jealousy from other women. Okay, so that's something I see here and there is this feeling of men seeing you secretly as a type of person that is a trendsetter, that does something where other people want to copy you, but they'll never admit that they were copying you because usually those types of people are also jealous of you at the same time, but also mimicking you at the same time. So men secretly think that you trigger insecurities in other women. Okay, so with the masterpiece in the reverse, I was clairvoyantly seeing a visual image of somebody having like a very beautiful painting that is so expensive. Think, what is that famous painting? Like the famous paintings that we've seen uh, where it's like a limited edition. There's only one in the world and you have to have a lot of money to buy that painting. So there's something about men seeing you as a high value woman or person where they have to invest a lot of their time, their energy, their love if they want to keep you. And there's something about men secretly seeing your value. But sometimes men see you, they see this beautiful painting as metaphor, like you are a beautiful work of art. But then they look at the price tag on this painting and then they get scared away. So some men secretly feel like they see this, you know, shiny, beautiful painting, this beautiful person they want to keep around them, but then they see how much work goes into it and they're like, you know, I, I, I'm I, not cut out for this, but it's more so having to do with the feeling of like them knowing internally that they won't be able to keep you in their life or they won't be able to give you what they what you need. But it's kind of like, you know, when somebody sees something shiny and they want it or they see a designer bag and they want it, but then they look at the price tag and they're like, ooh, like, I don't think I can afford that. So it's kind of like not having to do with money per se, but more so your value, if that makes sense. So... I feel like it's not a bad thing. Um, the way Spirit is showing it to me is more so, imagine yourself as a diamond and only the men that are able to afford you as this diamond is going to be able to have you and keep you. But men that aren't able to give you what you need aren't going to be able to have you. So again, it's going back to that Seven of Cups energy where it's like, you have many options of people that want you, but you get to choose and pick who gets to keep you and have you. So that's an energy I see. Okay, so last oracle deck. So one card as we end off. What are men's secret thoughts of pile number one? So we have the red lady. I am pure strength. I honor my anger by giving voice to it. So there is a repeating energy showing up within this pile of you protecting yourself as we see the onk here. It's kind of like you protect yourself by knowing your worth, like I said before. And there is something about you being so independent where like no man can ever tell you what to do, you know, or make you submissive. So I feel that type of energy from this pile where it's like you're not submissing to a man. 
you're you're your own person. You're not here to please a man or people please anyone per se, period. So I feel this very powerful energy from you, like I said before. And men see you as a sweet person, but somebody not to F with, somebody not to mess with. There are some men that have maybe F'd over you in the past, where they're maybe worried about you getting revenge on them, or about you secretly still being angry at them, where they secretly um, are scared of you, if that makes sense. So with this card, men secretly see you as the type of person that maybe has a lot of healing energy. I don't think they think that consciously, especially if they're not spiritual, but they feel it. But again, like you have a sweet side to you, but then you also have this other side to you of like, I'm not to mess with, I'm not to play with. Like, if you're gonna lie to me, treat me badly, do anything, I'm gonna call you out. So men secretly think that you respect yourself and that makes them respect you. And there's something about them not being able to get away with things with you because you'll know. You'll know if they're lying. You'll you'll see right through them. Like, and there's some men that are scared of your anger, scared of you, um, scared of messing up with you because they know that if they mess up the first time, like your cutoff game is strong where you'll just cut them off. You won't even you won't even give them another chance unless you can see that, okay, this person is willing to try and improve and it's not something so bad. But there is a feeling with you of like, if I mess up, I'm gone. I'm out of their life. And so there is this feeling of pressure under them. Um, I almost hear under, well, I see a visual image of somebody almost like, throwing fire towards somebody's butt. So it's like they almost feel this pressure under their ass to kind of like be the best version of themselves. Sorry for my language, but that's just what I'm seeing. Um, so there's like this pressure of being the best type of man to you, otherwise you will leave. And that's what they secretly think. I also hear that a lot of men are secretly impressed by you, by the things you say, by the things you do, and I don't think a lot of men would tell you that per se, but they are secretly impressed because they don't really meet much people like you that know your worth like you do, that loves yourself, you know, so there's something about that. I really hope this reading resonated with you, pile number one. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Hi there my pile number twos, if you chose this black tourmaline crystal and the three of swords with shungite from the crystal magic tarot, then this is your reading. We're going to be taking a look at what are men's secret thoughts of you. So if you find yourself enjoying this reading, then please consider hitting the subscribe button. Also, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find my email address in the description box below. So please be aware that this is a general reading, only take resonates, leave the rest. We're going to start out with your tarot cards and then after that I have two sets of oracle cards that I want to use for your pile. Okay, so spirit guides of pile number two, spirit guides of pile two, what are men's secret thoughts of them? Justice with sapphire. We have the three of pentacles with chrysophase. So we have the Queen of Wands with Tanzanite. We have the Ace of Swords with Tiger's Eye. And your last card is the Death card with Jet. And at the back of the deck, we do have the World with Turquoise. So firstly, as I got to your pile, I saw... Ariana Grande in her Dangerous Woman album. I think it was that album cover. If I'm not mistaken, because like I heard Dangerous Woman in my mind and then I saw Ariana Grande with that kind of like ca those cat ears, but she's dressed in a very sexy, like almost like latex black suit, I think. Um, I'm sure a lot of you know what I'm talking about. I just can't describe it properly. So Spirit is showing me that. So I feel like a lot of men secretly kind of like project 
this fantasy onto you where sometimes when men don't know you and they're a stranger to you, I see them projecting like this image onto you that may or may not be true, I don't know, but there is something about them seeing you as very sexy, there's something about seeing you secretly as their fantasy, and something about them secretly uh, seeing you as a little bit dangerous to them, because they could potentially get their heart broken with the Three of Swords. So there's something about them secretly seeing you as somebody that is a heartbreaker. Whether this is true or not, I feel like I'm picking up on more so strangers, and secretly seeing you as somebody that is so sexy where you're out of their league. The reason I say so is because I'm seeing those movies in my mind, like in my mind's eye as visions. You know those movies where there's like those guys that never get women and then they're kind of like thirsting after the sexy woman where it's kind of like almost impossible to get with her. I'm seeing that in my mind. So you have a lot of people fantasize about you that secretly feel like they're out of your league, like you would never choose them in any sort of way. Some of them may even dream, daydream about like being with you, dating you, and then other people asking, <laughs> why would you be like a guy like this? I mean, you're so beautiful. Like, why would you be with this guy? So they kind of daydream and fantasize about you picking them and choosing them in some way, even though they probably know that would never happen. Uh, so I do see that. I don't know. I don't want to say this word, but it's like Spirit is showing me like some incel men that almost like fantasize about you. But what I will also say here is I feel like it's more of a projection of like projecting this fantasy of onto you. Like you would kind of like be that type of woman that would like strip for them. Um, it's kind of like they're projecting a sort of fantasy onto you, if that makes sense, where they kind of like daydream about what the sexual things with you would be like and what your body would look like underneath all those clothes. It's kind of like projecting a sexual fantasy onto you, if that makes sense. And often they feel like they would be lucky, extremely lucky to be with you. So like I said, with some men projecting this kind of persona onto you of like this femme fatale energy of somebody that's so sexy that is a heartbreaker, some men won't actually go up to you and talk to you or tell you the truth of how they feel about you because they want to protect themselves from getting hurt. So I will say because you are so good looking, sometimes men project something onto you that may not even be true. Because you may listen to this and be like, what? I've never broken any hearts. So yeah, that, that's just what I'm picking up here. Also, I'm seeing another vision of the house bunny. I don't know if you've ever watched that movie. But to me, what I'm taking from that is... I saw Ariana Grande with those bunny ears and then the house bunny and in that movie the main character is somebody that is very sexy, very beautiful and there are men that are always like flocking towards her. I mean in one scene in the movie she's doing yoga outside and there's men just standing in a group and kind of like just watching her. So I feel like a lot of men watch you, find you attractive, look at you, and that is something I see. But with the bunny energy, maybe you have like a bunny like beauty, or maybe you are just very cute, like a bunny as well as sexy at the same time, if that makes sense. But there's also something about men secretly liking the way you dress, okay? And I do also see here some men you have dated in the past where maybe they still might to this day feel heartbroken over the ending of your connection. With the death card here and the world at the back of the deck, those are two cards that talk about endings. So men you have ended connections with, situationships with, a lot of the time they still secretly to this day feel 
heartbroken over you, but they would never say that to you. I also do see the angel number 444 for you, um, along with the black tourmaline, which is a crystal of protection, and the Ankhya, which is a symbol of protection. 444 is an angel number of protection. So you have three pointers towards you being energetically protected when it comes to men. I do feel like you've had some divine intervention where some men have been taken out of your life because they were just not for you. They were just not the man for you. So if a man ever like just gets taken out of your life, usually there is a spiritual reason behind that where you're being protected from something. So don't ask for somebody back that has already left. Also, you will find that a lot of the times men that aren't having the best intentions towards you will kind of like be taken out of your life because you are energetically and spiritually protected. I feel by ancestral women. Ancestral women that are very powerful and are like, no, this man is not going to F with her. Like, we're taking him out of her life. Like, I see an energy like that. I'm now seeing 1111 on the clock and there is a feeling of you growing and bettering yourself, transforming in some way and changing in some way where men can often see your growth by, you know, getting to know you. These are men that more so know you and have known you for some time, even platonically where they see your growth and they get inspired by it secretly. I do also see for some of you, you have gone through a huge glow up or transformation to the way that you look and men secretly find you even more attractive. You were beautiful and attractive before, but there's just something about a glow up here where men see you as a type of person that stands out in the whole room. They see you having this showstopper energy, this type of like look that turns head heads, whether you believe that or not, this is what men secretly think of you. And a lot of the times men you have known or know currently feel as though you have changed their life. They secretly feel that, that, you, that you've changed their life in very big and miraculous ways. I also do see the energy um, of men that already know you and crush on you where they want to talk to you on the phone for hours or have conversations with you for hours. So there's something about them secretly liking the conversations you have together, secretly thinking that you're a very interesting person. So I'm also seeing there's something about you not just having beauty, but also having brains because now I'm seeing the character to Al Woods in my mind's eye uh, from Legally Blonde where she had beauty but also brains because she literally went to law school. So men secretly think that about you. I'm also hearing they secretly think that you're a catch. I do also think with the justice card here which is why I said strangers before when men project that heartbreaker energy into you. But when men get to know you, they actually see that you're a very trustworthy person, a very honest person. So they secretly think that you're very honest, you're very blunt. You'll say whatever comes to mind. You don't sugarcoat things like you have this trustworthy energy where even men that have been friends with you, they know that if they come to you and ask you for advice on any type of situation, you'll be completely honest and blunt with them. But of course, not in a harsh way, but in a way that it, it's like you care for them, so you'll tell them the truth. Um, but there is also a feeling here of you just being a very honest person where you don't believe in lies or being deceitful or anything like that or moving in snaky ways. You're not like that. So when men get to know you, they secretly feel like they can trust you with their whole life, with anything, with secrets, with anything at all. And I'm even picking up on platonic energies. So it's not just like romantically, but also platonically. I also see some men secretly wanting to talk about deeper things with you, get to know the deeper parts of you that you don't always show everybody. So we have the visionary. I hear you're very talented at something or you have a lot of strengths, whether you see them in yourself or not. 
And I'm also picking up on men that may be co-workers or men that may just admire you for your strengths or your talents. And strengths don't just have to be things you're good at, but it can be be certain strengths you have that they admire. So for example, let's say you are a very compassionate person and you always have empathy for others and you have a strength of giving good advice to others, they could admire that. Uh, but what I do see with this pile is a lot of your co-workers secretly admire you for the work you do um, that are male. And also a lot of men see you as a visionary, see you as a person with very big dreams and goals for yourself. Okay, so you're not playing it small when it comes to your dreams and goals. You really shoot for the stars and believe in yourself. So men secretly see your capabilities of reaching those big visions and dreams you have for yourself and they secretly see you as a very powerful visionary where you can turn those dreams into a reality and manifest that for yourself. So we have the halftime superstar. So I don't know if some of you like sports or not, but I am picking up on that for some of you. It won't resonate with everybody. But um, I'm also seeing gaming. Like, I don't know if I'm picking up on platonic energies or what, but maybe some of you like to watch sports with men or have gamed with men before. But even if it's not like that, even if you haven't done that, even if you don't like sports, let's say you're dating a man and he likes watching sports and you'll just watch it with him even if you don't have an interest in it just because you want to show you care. So, you know, I do see an energy like that too where maybe you take interest in their hobbies and interests even if it's not your own interest. Um, so I see a secret thought around something like that, but I also see them thinking you're a very chilled, laid back person, very non-judgmental, like they can tell you anything. I do see that this pile has a lot of platonic male friends. Um, so that's what I see where they just feel like chilled around you. They feel like you're a good friend secretly. So next we have the flight attendant. And the spotlight card wanted to pop out. So I feel like this is confirmation of what I said before, where when you walk into a room and there are men, they're always watching you. They're always seeing you as somebody that stands out, somebody that also is very photogenic, has a beautiful smile. So I do see that. And there's something about men wanting to drink with you or just seeing you as like a fun person, fun, interesting person to be around, interesting conversations, things like that. That's what I see. Um, but I also see with the flight attendant, men could sometimes secretly wonder what job you are doing, um, where they're very intrigued in what job you have, but they never ask. And I also see some men thinking that you're very uh, free spirited, because I heard that word in my mind before I pulled this card. Um, and I was going to say it to you, but I first wanted to pull these cards. So I feel like with the flight attendant, I'm getting the message of men secretly seeing you as free-spirited or secretly thinking of you as a type of person that wants to travel the world or kind of just like explore the whole world. Um, so I do see an energy like that. I also see men secretly thinking that you're somebody that has a lot of balance within different aspects of your life. I also see them thinking of you as that type of person that has a very beautiful or seductive voice or maybe even a, a like nice singing voice because we have a microphone here and there is also something about you smelling quite good is what I'm hearing from spirit and you having you know like a nice way of dressing where it's very authentic to you. I think it's different for all of you because I'm seeing some of you like to dress more casually, some of you like to dress more of like in the sexy way where you're showing off um, like parts of your body that you want to show and then I see some of you dressing more so in a way where you are looking like very put together with the flight attendant here. You know how flight attendants always look very neat, tidy, put together, beautiful makeup, beautiful hair. I'm seeing an energy like that or you could just very, dress in a very unique way where it's like very authentic to you, where not many people dress like you. 
So I see them secretly admiring your fashion style, the way you dress, and I also see streetwear for some of you. Men secretly also think you're very intelligent. I did say that, but I just heard the word intelligent now. And I also got the vibe of like men sometimes wanting to ask you out on a date, uh, but being too scared to ask you. Because I heard in my mind, let's go get boba tea or let's go get coffee or something. Like, um, I'm seeing an energy like that. And there is also this feeling here, I'm seeing like beautiful legs or a nice chest area or behind area. There's something about like men thirsting over your body secretly. Um, so it's either the legs, the chest area or the behind area that they're very attracted to, like very attracted to your body, okay? So I see with this pile, some men will crush on you for the longest time in secret without telling you. Um, eventually they come to the point where they're brave enough to tell you. And I do also see an energy here where some men want to be friends with you, uh, where it's not necessarily like having romantic feelings towards you or a romantic, a romantic interest towards you, but like wanting to be your friend secretly. Okay, so we have the goddess of the eternal flame. With I am an eternal flame and each day my light grows brighter. So you're somebody with a lot of light and I think that's also part of the reason why you have that showstopper energy where it's kind of like people have their eyes on you. It also has to do with something with your energy. So I think men that are conscious of what vibes feel like um, will secretly think that they like your vibe and your energy and they just like think you're very trustworthy like I said before but I also see an energy where a lot of men find your eyes very beautiful like something about the color of your eyes because her green eyes are just like standing out to me which is making me think of a beautiful eye color but regardless of what your eye color is there's just something about them admiring your eyes and your eye color um, I also see an energy here where you have a lot of passion towards the things you love to do, your interests, your hobbies, the things you love. So it's like along with what I said before where it's like you're not just a beautiful face, you also have brains, you also have intelligence, but you also have a really... Um, strong personality. You're not somebody with like a boring personality and just good looks. So I feel like you have the personality, you have the looks, you have the intelligence. It's like you have it all and that's what men secretly think of you. Um, because sometimes they've met people that are beautiful but don't really have a personality. That sounds mean but I'm hearing it in my mind so that's what I'm saying. Men secretly think you have queen energy or like royal energy that you exude where they're, they're naturally respecting you more. I'm seeing that. Or they want to treat you with like royal or queen treatment. I do see that. But they don't want to tell you that so they keep it secret to themselves as a thought and they rather want to do that with their actions. I don't think every man will treat us like royalty. It's unrealistic to expect but some men do feel that way towards you secretly where they want to give you the world. There's also something about men secretly thinking of you as a very creative person or you have creative... Um, potential if that makes sense and you have very good ideas that lead you towards something great. Bridget is also the goddess of the hearth and the home so there is something about men thinking you have this very warm personality that is very inviting. They feel very comfortable speaking to you secretly and they also secretly think that they feel very comfortable around you, like very safe around you. There's this very cozy vibe with you where it's like even men that have a platonic connection to you could see themselves like lying on the couch with you and eating popcorn with you and just being chilled and feeling comfortable. So that is like the vibe men see in you that they secretly like. 
I also see men secretly admiring your facial structure, something about the cheeks, the jaw, or the somewhere around there, but I think all of you have different features watching. Maybe some of you have full cheeks, maybe some of you have, you know, a very good facial structure to your jaw or your cheekbones, whatever it is, take it as it resonates, but they like that area of the face. Um, also your eyebrows. I feel like with this pile, your eyebrows are looking like a little bit more natural and you have a little bit more of natural beauty. Um, even if you do wear full glam and a lot of makeup at times, there's just something about you also having natural beauty and your eyebrows looking good but natural in some way. And I think men are also very attracted when they see you wearing like red lipstick or pops of color with lipstick. I see that too. So this is what I have for you, pile number two. I really hope this reading resonated with you. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Hi there my pile number threes, if you chose this Fire Agate Crystal and the Queen of Wands from the Mythos Tarot, then this is your reading. We're going to be taking a look at what are men's secret thoughts of you. So please be aware that this is a general reading, only take what resonates, leave the rest. If you happen to find yourself enjoying this reading, then please consider hitting the subscribe button. Also, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, please find my email address in the description box below. Okay, so the first energy I'm picking up on with you, okay, we have the Seven of Wands. Let me just pull your cards and then I'll tell you. Uh, so what are men's secret thoughts of pile number three? King of Cups, the Devil, we have the Knight of Pentacles and we have the Hierophant in the reverse. We have the Ace of Cups that wants to pop out and the Strength card at the back of the deck. So I was seeing an energy as soon as I got to your pile. I saw different visions to kind of explain what I'm seeing here. Um, so I saw this energy where men will sometimes compete for you, for your attention. Whether you are aware of that or not, this could be them secretly doing that. So I saw one scenario where maybe two men that were friends with each other liked you at the same time and they were kind of bickering with each other behind your back and saying, no, I want her, I liked her first, or I like this person first. No, I want this person, I like them first. Like, I kind of see them fighting over you and competing to get your attention, but not in a way of, like, malicious intent, just in a way of, like, both of them like you at the same time, but aren't admitting that to you, and then almost, like, chasing after you to see which one can get you, but it's not in a way with like malicious intention towards you. It's just competing against each other. So whether you are aware of that or not, you may have had that happen to you. Also, I see another scenario where two men that don't know each other could like compete for your attention. Whether that is true or not. So what I'm seeing for some of them, it's imagined where they perceive it as maybe you have other options in dating and love and it's more so imagined than real. And for others of you, it is real where maybe you are having multiple people or men wanting to date you and it's kind of like they feel like they need to compete for your attention. So what I was seeing in a vision is like two men liking you at the same time and one wants to like fight the other and then I tasted blood in my mouth and I'm not like bleeding or anything but I tasted it intuitively so I don't know if men have ever gotten in a fight over you or not but even if you're not aware of it it could have happened I don't know it might not resonate with everybody but I do see an energy like that I see with you I'm picking up on a lot of men that have deeper feelings towards you. I think with you, men secretly think that you are very beautiful, 
but you also have a very beautiful heart and personality. The men that I'm picking up on also may secretly feel sexually attracted to you, but also feel this need to protect you. Um, I could be picking up on men that aren't necessarily sexually attracted to you, but feel this need to protect you. So let's say some of you have male friends that are very protective over you. I could be picking up on an energy like that where they secretly feel that way. But there could also be men that you date or want to date you that feel protective over you. Like let's say you're going out in public together and some guy like cat calls you. Like I see him almost wanting to protect you or you know situations like that um, where it's like he almost wants to be a bodyguard towards you. So I'm seeing that. I'm also seeing an energy here where how I described like men see you as somebody they would have deeper feelings towards secretly. So maybe you've had a lot of men kind of like crush on you for the longest time. I think this came up with Impal too. Um, but there's like a feeling here of some men crushing on you for the longest time but never telling you. Or there's a feeling here of some men getting very obsessed with you or falling very hard for you. So I feel like the men I'm picking up on, like I said before, are more so men that have deeper feelings towards you or have fell in love with you in a very huge and intense way. So often they feel like their feelings are secret, but it's very intense. And sometimes they might even find they have secretly felt like they've never felt like this towards anybody this intense feeling of attraction, an intense feeling of like falling in love and having intense deeper feelings towards you where it's like they feel like they've never felt like this towards anybody and it's more so a consistent feeling. It's not like something that disappears fast with the Knight of Pentacles. So, you know, like if a man falls in love with you, he can fall in love with you and stay feeling like that for the longest time. But I feel like that's something they more so keep to themselves. I'm seeing with this pile, men secretly think of you as a type of person that is very responsible, very re reliable. It seems like you have your life together. You have your life in order. You may be a very organized person. They think that you're very soft and gentle in terms of your personality. But you also have boundaries at the same time. You also know your worth at the same time. Men secretly feel like you have a lot of confidence within yourself, whether that is true or not. Men also secretly think of you as a type of person that has a very nurturing energy. Um, but I'm seeing specifically towards pets. So I don't know if you have pets of your own that you are always like nurturing and giving love. Like I'm looking at the puppy here and the little bunny here. So uh, bunnies came up in pile two if you were drawn and Queen of Wands energy also came up in pile two if you were drawn. Uh, so there is kind of like a similarity to pile two, but differences with your pile. I'm picking up on more like men that have deeper feelings towards you with pile two. It was more so like men fantasizing and sexualizing pile two a little bit more. So if you do relate to that, go watch pile two. But with this pile, I'm also picking up on that. So there's also something about men secretly thinking that you're very photogenic um, where they secretly see your photos online and then want to DM you or reach out to you. So I'm seeing, for example, let's say you post an image on Instagram and a stranger that is a man sees you and finds you very attractive, secretly finds you very attractive and wants to pop in your DMs. I'm seeing an energy like that. Men secretly think of you as a very powerful person with a lot of potential uh, to be like a future partner to them. Because when I was shuffling your cards, I saw the Four of Wands kept wanting to come out. And the Four of Wands to me represents like marriage material energy. Based on the context of the question we're asking, we're asking about men. So oftentimes they see you as like a potential marriage partner 
if they do want to get married, of course, or they see you as somebody that they would want to settle down with, but they never tell you that, they just secretly feel that way. I also see men secretly wanting to do big gestures of romance towards you, like buying you a big bouquet of flowers. I th I see them like secretly wanting to impress you with their big gestures of love and romance. And if that hasn't happened to you yet, maybe some men have thought of doing that towards you but haven't. I'm not sure why. So these are the thoughts. Um... It doesn't necessarily mean they have done that. I also see an energy here where men secretly think of you, whether this is true or not, as the type of person that doesn't drink, smoke, party. Like maybe you're more of a homebody, maybe you like to spend time at home more, or maybe you have other fun activities that you do. Because I feel like you are a very fun person. They secretly see you as like someone they would have a good time around, even platonically, where um, you are very fun to be around, but maybe you don't find fun in those activities. So I do see that as well. There is something about men secretly thinking you're a very loyal person. Like I said before, very reliable. Even men that you're platonically friends with, they feel like, you know, if they had to call you to pick them up somewhere, like let's say they're stranded and the ride never came, it's like they can rely on you to maybe pick them up. Um, so I'm seeing also like with your friends that are women, for the women watching, it's like you're very loyal to your friends. Men think of you as the, secretly think of you as the type of woman that wouldn't like ditch your friends for a man. So it's like your friendship stays solid regardless of if, if there is a man in your life or not. You're not that type of friend that would just ditch your friends because your boyfriend asked you out on a date. You know what I mean? So that is what men secretly think of you. And when they see that loyalty towards your friendships, they know they can trust you even more. Men also secretly see you as a type of person that's very confident in yourself where you wouldn't bring down other women. So I see girl's girl energy here and it actually makes men see you in more of this loving light where you're not the type of person that would gossip or envy because you're confident in yourself. You don't, you're not a judgmental person. That's what they secretly think of you. Men may have some sexual thoughts of you that they keep secret and I'm also seeing the types of men that have feelings towards you like I said before where they consistently think of like the same fantasy about you days in a row if that makes sense. So I see an energy like that. I also see with this pile you're very powerful in a way when it comes to like your ambitiousness and your career but I feel like with this pile it's less about ambitiousness like yes you do have that you do have that passion towards your work but for you it's more about staying consistent and showing up every single day or well, not every single day but showing up and giving it the best you can consistently so it's like they see you as a type of person again that's very responsible so we have the movie star. As I was speaking about, you know, you having the potential to create success. With a movie star, I'm not taking this literally, but you know when people kind of like win awards for movies they've kind of played in and then they get recognized for the work they've done. I feel like that's um, sort of like a confirmation of what I said now where when you are consistent towards your work or your goals or the things you want to achieve for yourself you get recognized for it and you inspire a lot of other people that also maybe have the same goals or or just goals of their own where you inspire others and men secretly think of you as that type of person that is an inspiration to others so we have the little star. I feel like men see you as a type of person that maybe had uh, very strict parents or you had parents that put a lot of expectation onto you where you're still trying to learn to see your worth regardless of 
the expectations others put on you and if you meet them or not, and regardless of your achievements, seeing your worth as a human being rather than just your achievements. So they secretly think of you as a type of person that has found internal confidence regardless of the external where your confidence isn't based on external achievements but based on the internal feeling you have where regardless of whether you have those achievements or not you will still feel confident in yourself. Men secretly think of you as a type of person that has had this energy even when you were younger. So even when you, you were younger maybe you were a top student or maybe you were somebody that was just very good at what you did even from a young age because I'm seeing some of you be good at creativity from a young age or have certain talents from a young age. I am also picking up on a father figure for some of you or a lot of you watching if you have a father figure in your life. And even if they have passed on for some of you, you know, this could still be applicable. But I see a father figure in your life being so proud of you, seeing the potential in you since you were younger, and also being very protective over you. But seeing that this is, um, yeah, this is applicable to everybody, but seeing how you have grown up and seeing that they're very proud of you because you've reached your potential that they've seen within you from a young age. So your father is secretly proud of you but hasn't told you and even if he has told you he still secretly feels that way. So we have the bad ass. So I feel like you're very fierce. You're very like bad ass type of energy you give me the type of vibe of somebody that is very fearless and courageous. So even if you yourself have fears, men just kind of see you like this secretly as this fearless person that is very brave and courageous. And like when you want something, you go towards it. You don't let your fears hold you back. They also see you as the type of person that's very intelligent and smart and like you're going to achieve a lot since she's wearing corporate wear. Um, they may also fantasize about you in like clothes like this, if that makes sense. There's also something with this pile where when you get dressed up, you're not afraid to be extra. And men really like that about you. Okay, because it's like you dress to impress. Well, you don't even dress to impress, but you like to express yourself through fashion. Um, and there's just something about you not necessarily copying others, but coming up with your own things that others don't really do. So you're very authentic to yourself. And that's what men secretly think of you. So we have the joy permeated mother. I know the self that never changes. I am my own guru. So there is something about you being very consistent and not switching up on people, especially men. Um, so like, let's say you start to date a man and you date him for years. He knows that your feelings towards him aren't just going to change and you aren't just going to wake up one day and not love him anymore and abandon him. Like you stay with the people you love unless they treat you badly, then you will leave because you know your worth. But when the relationship is beautiful and healthy, you're not the type of person that would just abandon them. So I see men secretly thinking of you as that type of person. They think of you as a type of person that not only is physically beautiful, but you have a beautiful soul. They think of you as somebody that is an old soul secretly. And they think of you as somebody that's always following your heart secretly. They secretly think that. They also secretly think that you would or are a great mother or father if you already have kids. If you want kids in the future, they think that you would be a good mother or father secretly. I also see an energy with this pile where when you have a goal or something you want to go towards, 
you're a very fast learner. You can learn on your own. You can teach yourself certain things. Like I'm seeing some of you have taught yourself certain languages or taught yourself certain things from going online where you haven't necessarily gone to classes but learned on your own. Or I'm also seeing an energy here where you have this self-made energy. So let's say you achieve something big in this lifetime. It's like you did it on your own. And yes, you may ask for help along the way, but it, most of the things you achieve, you did it on your own. Um, so I'm seeing an energy like that where men secretly think that of you, where it's like you're going to be the self-made successful person that is recognized for what you did yourself. And they also think of you as a very joyful, positive person. That's what they secretly think of you. And that they like that about you, it rubs off on them, where they also become more positive in their thinking. So there is an energy of appreciation here because it's like maybe some men used to think in very negative, pessimistic ways, but after they met you, it's like you left a ripple effect on their life where maybe they also want to achieve things, where maybe they also want to learn things on their own. Like I'm hearing no excuses. If I want something, you know, I'm going to go after it because I see pile three doing that. Um... There's also something about them feeling as though, like I said, they become more joyful around you, more positive, and that energy kind of rubs off on them. They think that you have a very beautiful smile and laughter. They secretly think that, and that is very contagious, like your happiness. So this is what I have for you. I really hope this reading resonated. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.